Hey guys, and welcome back, man. Here we are, it's Wednesday time for another midweek motivation and advice video, man. And uh, today, as you guys can see, we're gonna be talking about metabolism, specifically uh, metabolic damage and the semi-permanence of that related to extreme weight loss, right? Um, now, you guys might be thinking, uh, metabolic damage, dude, what the hell are you talking about? Semi-permanent damage that you could do to yourself by losing a hell of a lot of weight? Uh, that's counterintuitive, right? Isn't the whole idea um, behind losing a mad amount of weight uh, to get your metabolism back to a normal level? Well, that is the idea, damn it. Uh, but there's a lot of research out there to uh, show uh, that the exact opposite is actually true of those people that have been extremely overweight. Now, I'm not talking about 50 pounds or something like that. I'm talking about like me uh, having lost 220 some odd pounds, right? Um, and, and being that big for so long, right, really does actually damage your me me uh, metabolic rate, right? If I could spit the damn words out. Today, Junior? Um, Semi-permanently, right? Now, it's not completely permanent, but uh, there's a lot of research in that. Well, he only had three other batches. Uh, gorilla Panic, uh, They're Coming, They're Coming, and something called This Is Permanent. Now, uh, here's what I'll tell you. Uh, I am a huge fan of a lot of the documentaries here on YouTube, right? Uh, not the least of which is SciShow, right? SciShow Space, SciShow, everything, really. Um, and they have a great video on it. Um, and I will put that uh, uh, link in the description below, right? I encourage you to watch that. Um, it's entitled something like, uh, it's why it's so hard to lose weight, right? And they go into a lot of the scientific specifics behind it. Um, but what is important to know is if you are on your journey to lose a ton of weight, you need to understand that uh, while you're doing that and you can get there, it's not impossible to do, right? Um, I'm proof, there's countless others that are proof that you can do this thing, um, that when you get there, it, it will be extra hard for you to maintain that weight loss as opposed to somebody who is never huge, right? Um, so your metabolic rate will be significantly lower on the order of about five to 600 calories a day lower than somebody that has always been at your goal weight, right? So like for me, I was 412 pounds, I lost all the way down to 190, right? Um, now my metabolic rate was definitely lower at 190 than somebody who was always 190 and never 412 pounds. Uh, that's just the way it goes, man. It's unfair, damn it. But that seems to be the way it actually is, right? So this idea that you have in your mind that you lost all this weight maybe and you're having uh, a lot of fluctuations as you try to maintain, man, that's not just in your head, dude. It is actually easier for you to gain some of that weight back than somebody who has always been at that level, right? Again, I encourage you to watch this SciShow um, uh, documentary, man. It's super awesome. Uh, and there's a lot of scientific papers too, but why the hell would you want to read something so damn dry when you could watch something awesome, right? Uh, to give you the same information. Anyway, guys, um, here's what I'll tell you. It seems to be semi-permanent in that it lasts for years, right? Afterwards, right? That doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. Your body will slowly rebuild that metabolic rate back to where it should be, right? But it will take a very, very long time. A lot of the research seems to show it could take as much as a decade um, to get back to that metabolic rate. And that's just of maintaining, right? Um, which shouldn't be alarming to you because when you lose this weight, you're going to want to keep it off for the rest of your life. And hopefully that is several more decades. So you have the time, right? You just have to be very patient and you have to keep going on with it, right? So if you're slipping up and you're gaining a little weight or you're fluctuating a little bit, man, don't get so super down on yourself about it. Just take control over it, realize what's happening, make the corrections necessary, and get back down there, right? Uh, that's what I'm doing. Um, although, I'll tell you, um, I do have my slip ups now and then. You guys have seen that. Um, so, you know, you just, you just, you know, you keep watching me, man. Uh, you know, if you wanna see somebody who's not perfect at something that still manages to succeed at certain things in life, man, watch me. I'm not perfect at any damn thing, man. In fact, I I mess damn near everything I do up. The difference is I never quit and I keep going, man. And I will succeed no matter what I do because I will never give up that track and you can never give up either. Anyway, guys, that's it for today, man. Um, like and subscribe. Leave me some comments, man. Let me know what's going on with you guys. And as always, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.